The problem with flying drones is you need to increase the battery size in order to increase their time in the air. This also makes the drone heavier and bigger. The company Getz found a way to extend flight time without making the battery bigger. Their engineers created a station that can charge drones wirelessly and without landing. The station has poles connected by wires. Within this setup, an electromagnetic field is created. When a drone flies over it, it receives energy through a built-in receiver. By staying in this electromagnetic cloud for 8 minutes, a drone can charge for another 30 minutes of flight. The wireless charging station can transfer up to 12 kilowatts with 80% efficiency. Multiple drones can charge in the cloud at the same time. The station is easy to assemble and move to a different place. Have you ever seen a power bank the size of a skyscraper that charges itself? The company Skidmore O-Wings & Merrill plans to convert skyscrapers into devices that turn mechanical energy into electricity by lowering massive blocks. This is based on a gravity process. Giant cranes are used for this. When a block is lowered under its own weight from a great height, a powerful burst of energy is created. This energy is stored in batteries and can then be used for the building's needs. This technology can be applied during construction or in existing skyscrapers. Scientists estimate that even a 656-foot-tall building could generate enough electricity for itself. However, for greater efficiency, the technology is planned for skyscrapers at least 980 feet tall. The taller the building, the more energy it can produce. This technology could reduce electricity costs for skyscraper construction by three times, compared to using lithium-ion batteries. Since a room's humidity can reach 60 to 80 percent, dehumidifiers have been around for a very long time. However, the developers at Drinking Maker went a step further by making the collected water drinkable. The result is a device the size of a coffee machine that makes drinking water from air, while also removing excess moisture and filtering the air in the room. That's why it's called 3-in-1. A HEPA filter is used to clean the incoming airflow. Then, the moisture condenses inside the station and goes through layers of cotton, activated charcoal, and other fibers. For extra purification, UV treatment is applied, resulting in water that is 99.9% .9 pure. The filter cartridges are replaceable, maintaining the performance of the home machine at a high level. The developers plan to release additional cartridges to add minerals to the drinking water. With this innovation, you can get drinking water from the air, avoiding bottled water, and even when there's no centralized water supply in the house. The next invention also helps improve the quality of life at home. The Lotus Ring allows you to control lights, TV, fan, and other devices by pointing your finger or pressing built-in buttons. It's comfortably worn on the index finger. The dedicated part of the outer surface works like a touchpad on a laptop, which is useful for smooth adjustments, like adjusting the brightness of the TV screen or room lighting. This innovation is designed especially for people with disabilities or elderly people who find it hard to use a smartphone. It doesn't require good vision or high finger sensitivity, and makes controlling home devices very accessible. The ring itself with its metallic shine looks very elegant on the finger without attracting too much attention. Now you can enjoy an exciting time outside of your home at a hotel located in space. The company Above Space plans to launch two stations to accommodate paying tourists in Earth's orbit. They will make a trip around the world every 90 minutes. One hotel is designed to accommodate up to 28 people, and the other up to 400 people. Both stations are built in the shape of a wheel with living quarters located on it. The windows offer views of Earth and space. Inside, there are comfortable beds for sleeping, sofas, and even a desk for remote work. There is also a library, gym, cinema, bar, and restaurant for general use. Unlike scientific space stations, these hotels will have gravity due to the rotation of the disc-shaped structure around its axis. Guests can adjust the strength of the gravity. For example, they only need to reduce the gravity if they want to jump high and dunk a basketball like Michael Jordan. Luxury rooms with three bathrooms, kitchen facilities, and lavish sleeping apartments can be rented for vacations or even purchased to live in. 
Huge trucks with diesel engines use up to 10 to 12 gallons of fuel to cover 100 miles. The new Kenworth Super Truck 2 uses only 5 gallons for the same distance, making it the most fuel-efficient vehicle in the world. This was achieved through an aerodynamic body design, reduced weight, and an innovative engine. The truck has a design similar to a high-speed train with hidden chassis, a narrow nose and a sloped front. Panoramic windows provide good visibility and add to its streamlined shape. To reduce drag, large mirrors were replaced with camera pods equipped with night vision. Overall, these design choices reduce drag by 48%. Using advanced durable materials, the weight of the truck and trailer was reduced to 26,100 pounds, which is 7,100 pounds lighter than all existing competitors. The adjustable suspension allows the truck to lower itself closer to the ground on the highway, reducing the center of gravity. The diesel powertrain combined with regenerative braking charges the battery. This energy is used for fans, cooling systems, air conditioning, power steering and heating. This innovation allows the truck to avoid using generator-produced energy from the engine, thereby saving fuel. Moving from heavy transport to light transport, the hard rigid seat can cause severe soreness in your butt when embarking on long bike rides. The new Vabs Rider bike seat solves this problem by moving in sync with your legs as your pedal. This is possible because the seat is divided into two independent halves placed on an axis. When one leg moves down to push the pedal, that side of the seat tilts along the thigh so it doesn't press on the buttock. Your body weight is supported by the other half of the seat at that moment, then the roll switch. The seat can be adjusted for distance from the frame, height, and the width between the two halves. This helps to fit it precisely to the user's body. While nuclear energy boasts the highest power relative to the volume of materials used, constructing nuclear power plants is a time-consuming and expensive endeavor because of their sheer size. However, the company Last Energy, in collaboration with NATO, has developed modular micronuclear power plants that can be transported and assembled anywhere within 24 months. This allows them to be placed directly next to consumers, avoiding the loss of power capacity through the electrical grid. These micronuclear reactors have a modular design made of vertical blocks, assembled like Lego pieces. They are installed on a concrete foundation and fixed with bolts. Because of their small size, they are easier to maintain. One unit produces 20 megawatts of electricity, enough for data centers, industrial facilities, and critical infrastructure. If needed, these units can be combined to scale up the total power output. The new technology is planned to be used in both civilian and military projects. The company handles all the necessary licenses and documents for construction and operation. For a long time, airplanes and helicopters have been able to fly on autopilot, but landing with the engine off using auto rotation has not been achievable. Auto rotation is when the blades keep spinning due to air passing through the rotor, even though the engine is no longer running. The California company Skyrise has developed a highly automated control system called Flight OS, which managed to land an R-66 helicopter using auto-rotation completely automatically without human intervention. Representatives from the Guinness World Records were present during the demonstration of this invention's practical capabilities. They documented and confirmed that this was the world's first automatic landing of a helicopter with a failed engine. The Flight OS system detects the engine failure and automatically initiates an auto-rotation landing, which can save the pilot's life as manual control in such a situation requires quick reactions and is very complicated. Making the virtual world even more real is possible with the new Project Estermat from Razer. It attaches to an office or gaming chair using straps and is compatible with most types of seats. It connects wirelessly to a laptop or computer via 2.4 GHz technology, so no wires are needed to connect to the chair. The mat has 16 electric actuators in different areas that provide feedback. They transmit the intensity, direction, and duration of the impact. The tactile feedback adapts to the content on the screen. With this new device, the player can better feel the recoil from shooting their own gun, 
experience the bumps of off-road driving in a Jeep, or sense the impact of enemy fire on their tank. Finally, the developers of the Romoto T8 trailer concept with a swivel platform and cover terrace have successfully brought it to life, presenting it to the public. This mobile home has an oval shape with a capsule cabin situated inside a solid shell. Using hydraulic cylinders, the cabin rotates 90 degrees relative to the platform. This creates a covered platform without walls, allowing people to sit under shelter even in rainy weather. Side openings are fitted with mosquito nets, and outdoor furniture is set up on the deck. The dining area inside the capsule, which has panoramic windows, transforms into a sleeping area, providing enough space for four people. Inside, there is a mini kitchen, a bathroom, and a shower. The setup includes a 32-inch TV, an outdoor projector with an 82-inch screen, and a sound amplification system. The module's electric power comes from a 200 amp hour battery charged by solar panels on the roof. People are able to print weapons, houses, and other parts from plastics or polymers on 3D printers. However, printing with metal is a new development, showcased by Fraunhofer in collaboration with Dubai Future Labs. They use the Nikon SLM printer and an open source engineering software called Pico GK. The technology casted a rotor and casing from steel and coils from copper. This resulted in an electric motor stator. To use the metal powder, they made it dielectric. Afterward, the product underwent heat treatment so that the coils could conduct electricity. Now, with computer engineering, it's possible to design prototypes of real electric motors. In the future, this could become the main manufacturing technology. Modern military operations involve thousands of drones each month. To effectively shoot them down, the Triton MK2 anti-aircraft system was developed. At its core is the battle-tested Bofors cannon with a caliber of 1.57 inches. It has a shooting range of up to 7.5 miles and can even use programmable Bofors 3P projectiles. The anti-aircraft system can be mounted on various chassis and is operated from the driver's cabin of the vehicle. This allows it to quickly arrive at the location, strike the target, and leave to avoid enemy countermeasures. With additional equipment, the anti-aircraft system can be operated remotely, providing even better protection for the crew. The system is equipped with day-night sensors for quick target detection at any time of day. The Tridon MK2 is designed to engage not only drones, but also missiles, planes, helicopters, and ground vehicles. Standard pickups are about 200 inches long, which makes them difficult to maneuver in urban traffic and parking. That's why the Tello and Fuse project teams took on the development of an electric pickup truck that would match standard versions in capacity but be maneuverable and compact for city use. The result was the Tello pickup model, named after the Greek word for target. It features a five-seat cabin and a standard cargo bed that is 60 inches long. However, its entire length is just 152 inches. This makes it very suitable for narrow city streets and small parking spaces. The reduction in length was achieved because it lacks an internal combustion engine allowing for a shorter hood. This improvement enhances battery cooling as incoming air directly reaches the battery. When needed, the bed can be extended further by folding the rear partition behind the second row of seats. This capability allows for transporting long surfboards or large ladders. Here's another automotive invention designed for urban mobility. It's a three-wheeled, two-seater car powered by a human-electric hybrid drive system. It combines the torque from mechanical pedals with an electric motor, offering zero emissions, health benefits, and efficient battery use. This car is essentially a mobile electric station. Pedaling is assisted, making it easier for the driver and passenger. There are four battery configurations available, allowing for optimal speeds ranging from 62 to 118 miles per hour, and a range of 93 to 257 miles. Even the simplest version accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. Only 500 units will be produced worldwide, making it a symbol of forward-thinking mobility and exclusivity. And that's all for now. 
you are now up to date on the latest advancements in drone autonomy, electricity generation, space exploration, and engineering. Subscribe to our channel to always stay updated on new inventions. You'll receive notifications as soon as a new episode is released. Feel free to leave a comment if you'd like to share your thoughts on any invention.